For the second time in less than a week, tragedy at French Valley Airport near Murrieta. A private plane with six on board crashed 500 feet from the runway. The question being asked, what went wrong? The Cessna C-550 business jet departed Las Vegas at 3.15 this morning. The plane crashed upon approach to French Valley Airport at 4.15 a.m., igniting a fire that crews battled for one hour. The plane's debris field is 200 feet long. Investigators say a certified commercial pilot was at the controls. The passengers, five adults. And I'm a licensed pilot, so my producer, Alan, asked me to add some context and perspective on this tragedy. I spent several hours speaking to other pilots, looking at various data, and listening to the audio of the air traffic controller as he communicated with the pilot. Thank you, Romy Rogers. Just uh, comply with the public's list. Continue climb, climb, maintain uh, 5,000. You're direct to uh, so it's a little hard to understand, but right after the pilot misses his first attempt to land, you hear the air traffic controller asking him to go back up to 5,000 feet and at the pilot's discretion, come back in for landing. That pilot was using instrument flight rules, meaning he was depending on the instruments in the cockpit to lead him to the runway. The clouds were just 300 feet above the runway. That's extremely low. So picture this scenario in which the pilot may have been completely enveloped in that marine layer or fog. So it's almost like you have sunshades covering all your windows. You're flying blind. You're relying on these instruments in front of you to guide you to the runway. That is until you break through the clouds and can theoretically see the runway and land safely. If you don't have that visual, if anything feels off, protocol is to abort the landing and head to the nearest airport, which based on the conditions at that time would have likely been Palm Springs Airport an hour away by car. It would have been a requirement to have a planned alternate route in these conditions. And another piece of data, we looked at the radar track, and it shows the pilot descending at a controlled rate of descent, essentially a stable approach into the ground just 500 feet from the runway. Investigators I've spoken to say it's possible the pilot didn't realize obviously how close he was and never even saw the ground. And finally, if this was a charter flight, there are more stringent rules a pilot has to abide by. At French Valley Airport, for example, there's required visibility of at least seven-eighths of a mile. The NTSB said today the visibility during this flight was half-mile, less than what was allowed to even attempt an approach in a chartered aircraft. The NTSB will ultimately determine the cause of this crash, and they said they'll release their preliminary report in 14 days.